My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to the Binding Mising Rebirth, where we're going to play a character, and it's not going to be Maggie, all right? Let's roll the die and not get a three or a four. Here we go. The number we got is a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Judas has already done everything. I'm going to re-roll. That number is a three. Let's do a Maggie run. Fuck this D20. I hate my life. Someone... Come to my house and kill me. It is one, two, three, three, two, one, P Sherman Wallaby Way. Road. I don't know. It's it's uh 41 Wallaby Way. P Sherman 41 Wallaby Way Sydney. I don't know. I cannot recall the Ooh. Ooh. Don't mind if I don't. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why I'm looking the gift horse in the mouth on that one, it's because they're both going to be more effective for me to take later. Uh, even if I do have to waste another heart to get back in that room, they're going to be more effective for me to carry at a later point in the video game. In a later point on this floor as well. That's a health up. Yep. So I've got to remember, I'm currently running at five hearts. Because the exchange rate with Guppy's Paw is... One heart is equal to three soul hearts. And the health cap is... Tw oh my god, that's two damage up. That is as good as two damage up items that are really good. That was a horrible way to explain myself, but still... It's really good. I'm so glad to have gotten the curve to one. They had never met. They were like two hummingbirds who had also never met. That's kind of... Kind of what we're working with, although that was a simile and I was using a metaphor. Right. Cube of meat. Excellent. That's a pretty good defensive item. So I want to take Pandora's box down to caves two, which means that I just want to pick up and use Guppy's... Guppy, 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 Guppy. Guppy's paw, right? So I have five heart containers. So I think I just want to use it like two or three times. I'll blow that up. Definitely a good decision. There was a bank error in my favor. Collect $200. Okay, so... Think about it like this. I go from five heart slots taken to four plus three, so seven, to three plus six, nine, to two plus nine, eleven. So I want to use it three times. One, two, three. Then pick this up. Because any more than that, and I'm going to be wasting spirit hearts because they actually cannot be picked up by me, um, since I would be at the HP cap. I think this is our secret room. I will test the other one if not. Fuck. The other location for it is directly... Hang on, I'm just gonna check here. Yeah. The other location for the secret room is directly down from here. It could have been in a different location, of course, you know. Sometimes things vary in that way, but I was pretty sad. It had to be one of those two. Okay. I feel pretty solid about this, especially since I have enough spirit hearts to kind of cover my ass for a while. Um, and that's really all I care about. Cover my ass until I get a deal with the devil that is worth having, and then we can talk about, you know the viability of the run afterwards. If you saw the last run, then you'll know exactly how painful it is to not be able to get any spirit hearts, to not be able to get any deal with the devil, and then just to have this self-perpetuating kind of cycle of sadness. That's a decent item that I'm not going to take with me because Pandora's box needs to be used on a later floor. On this floor, Pandora's box would only give me two keys, 
um, and two bombs. Whereas on Caves 2, it will give me two boss items and I think two spirit hearts as well. But just the two boss items is worth it. Because that's either, you know, at worst, that's kind of like two health up, right? At best, that's one damage up plus one tears up or two damage ups, right? It could be pretty good. I could even get Magic Mushroom. I could get a damage multiplier out of it. That's that's insane. Okay, I will actually end up going into that curse room because curse rooms have been very, very gracious. Mm -hmm. Gracious? No, they've been very good to us uh, so far this run. Two items in our first curse room, by the way. That shit's bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. So I'm really happy about that. Especially coming off... Uh, I'm gonna stop talking about it soon, but uh, especially coming off the back of last run, which was... <clears throat> painful. You may enjoy watching it if you are a sadist, which is what I tell you at the end of the episode. Alright. Monstro is monstrously fucked against us. Rainbow Baby is going to be able to slow him down via shooting Gish Tears. Apparently Gish Tears only have a chance to slow because it just shot a Gish Tear and it didn't slow. The Gish Tear did hit as well. Oh, there's a Gish Tear that hit and slew it. Slew it? Not yet. Slowed it down. Now it slew it. Health up. Ooh, shouldn't have taken that. I mean, it's our second guppy item. And becoming guppy uh, can carry you sometimes. I'm not certain how I feel about that, but hey, getting a free... Uh, it did cost me one, you know, heart to get in here. But getting a free-ish... Uh, fuck, what's the name of this guy? I want to call it Gimpy. Oh, right, that's because it's his name. Right. Getting a free Gimpy is definitely worth it. I'll check this first. The only reason I didn't check it first the other time... Oh, fuck. Last floor is because I had a Blackheart, and the Blackheart inflicts damage to everyone in the room when it is used, so I figured, hey, I might wait and see if I use the Blackheart effectively. Ooh, that's not good. I'll probably carry that into the curse room when I go back into that curse room to blow up the uh, stone chest. So then I'll just pop down the Wheel of Fortune next to it and then blow up both the Wheel of Fortune and the stone chest at the same time and earn myself probably more than the value of the bomb that I have to invest in order to do it. Excellent. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Oh, no. Um, glad to have PhD. I just don't... I'm not a huge fan of being able to see all of these things that I can't take. Alright, give me bombs. Hey, that shit was effective, yo. I gotta tell items what... Uh, I gotta tell chests what they want to give me before I open them more often, evidently. As I said, give me bombs, and it gave me two bombs. It very literally obliged me entirely. Did nothing but give me exactly two bombs. Ow. Yeah, I kind of saw that happening in between the two kind of cones there. There was very little brain power allocated to finding just the right spot to stand so that I didn't die. Or get hit. Fuck me sideways. Look at all these bomb-ass bombs. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh. No, I actually have one of the best uh, trinkets in the game. I don't need that. Like, if I didn't have Curved Horn... Uh, I might play that, and the reason I would play it is because I would be looking for either Curved Horn or Cancer. But now I need to have Mum's Purse in this shop, and to get Cancer from that 
in order for it to be super useful. Usually you play a Wheel of Fortune because you just kind of want spirit hearts to protect you. But I have a lot of spirit hearts. So I'll just blow it up. Ooh, I'm not killing the poops in one hit. That's, uh... That's a sign I need a little more damage going on. Whoa, baby, I'll come back for you later. And that's why you shoot the poops, ladies and gentlemen. That is why you shoot the poops. Um, yeah, red back cards are usually really good. Did you just run into Guppy's hairball and get shit on? <laughs> Oh. That appeals to me. Fuck, I hate this room. I really do. I hate it more with low range and low damage, though. So. I don't have low range and low damage, so I've got that going for me. Which is nice. God, it's being so aggressive. Even more so after I charmed it. Oh, I don't like this. Never mind, I like it now. Magic fingers, I don't like that at all. Battery is bullshit. I don't like this anymore again. I had to buy them just in case one of them was the humbling, uh, humbling bundle, right? I just needed to have that shit in my life. Basically, I paid 15 cents to check what those items were. God. I've got PhD and I can still take I found pills. I don't like that. I know I found pills is a neutral pill and PhD only removes negative pills, not neutral pills, but still, come on, man. Okay, so I've still got my... I've got to recall, I still do have that eternal heart that I need to go and get. Okay, so this is the version of Gertie that can only summon familiars. I'm trying to get my Guppy's hairball stuck in here. Oh god, I took a lot of damage, but Gimpy was really on the ball there. Rotten meat, HP up. No, that's, that's not the one I'm thinking about. I was thinking of meat exclamation mark. Uh, which gives you Uno momento por favor. Think that'll Yeah, it did both. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay. What was I saying? <laughs> uh I thought it was meat, which gives you a health up plus 0.3 damage up, but it's not. It's rotten meat, which is just health up. Okay. I still just need to persevere until my next deal with the devil, which is going to be at the end of the next floor. As long as I don't take red heart damage, of course. I think I can do that pretty effectively. I've also got 12 keys, so I've got that going for me. Excellent. Room I can't go in. That's, uh... That's discrimination. I'm not a huge fan of that. I hate those fucking anus things. Oh, God. They're just so atrociously annoying. They fire so quickly and so sporadically and just... So abruptly, I think is what I'm saying. They're just random. You never know when they're gonna go. Okay, this floor has been naught but trouble so far. Oh, come on. Bonies? Oh my god, I finally got hit by a bony. Knew it was gonna happen, but it finally happened. Alright. Where's my item room? Where's my polyphemus? Where's my D6? I would even pop- Oh wait, hang on. One caves too. 
Boom! Caves 2. Is that not how that works? I thought Caves 2 was, um, was two boss items. Maybe it's Depths 1 that's two boss items? That's unfortunate if it is. I thought Depths 1 was like four spirit hearts. Where do I get the boss items from? Oh, you know what? It's fucking probably Utero. I'm not going to take that shit down to Utero, especially if I find a better spacebar item. Oh my god, how do I get this far in the level without fighting any, any rooms of note? Well, right, I found a trap room that I can't go into. I hardly think that counts. Alright, let's go clear the other fucking big room. Oh shit, it's this one. I hate this room so much. I complain about this room all the fucking time for good reason. It's trashed here. This is poorly designed. You usually need to take damage. Garbage. Yep. It's really bad. It really is. I'm focusing, so I take as little damage as possible, but I do not want to understate how piss poor this room is. These still fucking fire after- yep, I still got hit by them. They still fire after you finish. If you're gonna have such a shitty room, at least don't have it still be shitty after you finish. God damn it, Edmund. You're breaking my balls here. You, 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 you're just breaking them. Finally, we found our item room. Very hyped by that. Okay, and, oh. Whoa, I thought that was going to be the final barrage. There we go. Ooh, we got a little bit of 69 action going on here, which is cancer, HP up, plus you feel protected. Uh, it's not a horrible item. Plus three, three or two. It's plus some integer amount greater than zero of spirit hearts. And then after all of that... Uh, you feel protected, I believe, is the Celtic Cross effect. So, on hit, there is a 20% chance to spawn a personal shield around you for a total of 10 seconds. Is it 10 or 7? I think it might be 7 for that. Oh, thank you! Very friendly folk opening this secret room for me. That's unfortunately not good enough. It's just evil up. I don't need that. Oh my god, this boss is going to give me an item that I hate as well. So that's really good. I really need this deal with the devil to be at least mid-tier mid okay. Because so far, almost everything the runners wanted to give me has been just bad. Just everything the runners given me recently, I guess. Hang on, what? I didn't take red heart damage. You're kidding me. Alright, so I got the 1% chance, I believe it is, to not get a deal with the devil there. Yeah. I'm not certain what to do now. Okay, so I'm going to bomb into the... Thank you for the half red heart. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bomb into the boss trap fight room. Fight the bosses in here for the possibility of getting a red chest afterwards. Oh my god. I can't believe that I'm actually doing this. This is what it's come to. This is how desperate I am for a good run. I will drag my fucking nuts through glass 
just to try and get a good run going. Well, I apologize for being crude, but it's real. Oh my god. My damage isn't even cutting it anymore. Hang on. How many damage ults do I have? <clears throat> I have only the, uh, the trinket that I'm holding. I have no tears up. I have the damage up only through the trinket that I'm holding. Then the rest of it's all utility items. How psyched do you think I am to have a bunch of utility items and absolutely no basis for a run? I'll give you a hint. Not at all. This is shaping up to kind of just be like the last few Maggie runs we've had with a slow death that just peters out and you don't do anything forever. I mean, I, ju I don't know what to do here. Have I died in real life and I'm just recording these in hell? Like, is this, is this what's going on? Is this my own personal hell? Where I just constantly play Isaac and get fucked by RNG? Because I have to switch over to Hearthstone at some point today. And if I get... F oh my god! The game is having a laugh. It really is. Because now I have to defeat Mom before I can get the chance to get a deal with the devil, by the way. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm so annoyed. Annoyed? Annoyed? Um, I want a damage up. I want a severe fucking damage up in both of my item rooms. Then I will shut the fuck up. A damage up and a tears up would do as well, I guess. Thank you, Rainbow Baby, for little gish slowing that enemy as it approached. Yeah, I figured that that one was going to die before it got to me, so I just stood it down. Excellent. Now, I just want to break the heads of these guys as quick as I can. Because they can't jump after their heads are broken. Okay, the Duke Master Central fucker here. They predictively aim at you. It's so, so annoying. Oh my god. This room is really bad. This room is really annoying. You can take damage in almost any spot in this room. I believe actually where I'm currently standing is the only place where you can't take damage. Well, and obviously it parallels across the rest of the map. Room. Map. Floor. Okay. Oh my god. That blew that up. Open? Nope. You didn't give me what I wanted, but I, I, I just wanted Cricket's head. That's all I wanted. Cricket's head. Is that too much to ask? Just a really kind of fairly rare damage item? Might have been too much to ask. Okay. okay. And good. Fuck me. Alright, I'm taking it. I also have the PhD, so I'll take this. Are you a wizard? Fucking Wheel of Fortune. Well, there's no more shops after this floor, so I might as well also donate the rest. Uh -huh. Why don't you just spit in my face, Isaac? Hmm? Would be a lot quicker. Just... A friend of mine has a way of explaining uh, what he's going to do to someone 
if he's annoyed at them. But usually it's only when he's jokingly annoyed. And that's that he will shit in their milk. I feel like Isaac is currently shitting in my milk. You know what? I'll take it. And I'm gonna take it so that I can try and use Guppy's table, uh, Guppy's hairball plus this rotation orbital, the level one cube of meat to do all of my damage. Because it's currently doing more damage than I am. It almost worked as well. Ooh. It's actually pretty effective. I think I've done this before. If I haven't done this before in the series, then I apologize, but this is totally a thing you can do, so... Here, let this be the lesson to you. Oh my god, what the fuck is with these spikes? Why aren't they traveling in a standard pattern? Okay. I want some of the babies. Nope. None of those are the babies. Basically, I want a dry baby or ghost baby to kind of just slightly increase my DPS. Piercing Tears is officially the best thing that I've got on this run. And it doesn't increase my damage. Yep. This is the world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. This is the sick, sad world. Oh, we got a baby. We have procured a baby. It makes a lot of the rooms easier, I'll tell you that much. I mean, look at this shit. Boom. Get down, room. So I visited the shop and both item rooms. I'm already over time for the uh, boss rush. So I may as well explore the rest of the floor and try and get another item somehow. Maybe I just get enough help to run into mom until she dies. I mean, the cube of meat will prob- You know, I'm probably complaining a little too much. The cube of meat will take care of mom. Mostly, yeah. And I've got a battery, so I've even got two charges to do it in. Which I totally forgot that I had. Okay, I'm just trying to push you into- I just want to push you onto the spikes. Damn it, I don't have any knockback with my tears anymore because I have piercing tears. Yeah, it worked! <laughs> that was my plan all along to make it blow up over the skulls in order to blow them up. Okay. It's... Yep, I do not regret my decision to use this as my room clearing apparatus. Oh, I don't like this room though. Not enjoying my time in this room. There we go. <clears throat> Some of the homing tears from one of our familiars managed to get it. That would probably be Rainbow Baby firing little Steven shots, if I had to guess. <sighs> Just a casual sip of my energy drink to regain 
that which the game is robbing me of. Oh my god, this is a very bleak run. It's a bleak run. If I had to describe this run in one word, I would say... Bleak. Pretty flyers, okay. Oh my god. I don't... I don't like this room either. I just don't like anything, evidently. I'm gonna use both charges of my unicorn horn trying to get this to pop. Good news, I got it to pop. Bad news, didn't pop into anything good. Ow, that hurt. Still haven't taken red heart damage though, so I've got that going for me, which is good. I'm waiting for a very tedious round of enemies before I bother with this unicorn stump. I mean, this is annoying, but I don't think it's tedious. I think it's fairly easy if I'm focusing not taking damage on this wave. This one, yeah, fairly tedious. Actually, I have piercing shots. That probably wouldn't have been as bad. Probably should have just saved that charge, actually. Here's a charge that I can save. So if I only use one in the boss room, I should be fine to... Oh, here we go. Ow. Damn it. I should be fine to double... Double use it against mom. Yeah, I can't replace my trinket. It's the only reason that I'm still in this run. I'm not kidding you. Without this trinket, we would not have the damage to at all be even slightly contending this run. That is the power. Tears up is really good. That actually may be my first second tears up. I think that's actually my first tears up. Oh, I panic popped that, but um, I'm going to get the charge back immediately, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go fight the boss. I've also got strength, I guess, just in case. Take no damage, here we go. I think we're doing a fair job against Gish here. I do want to have my second charge for the mum fight, so that's why I'm not popping the unicorn stump again. I did explain that just before, but just in case. I've explained it again. Little Gish. Look at all these familiars. Yep. This, this is almost all due straight to the fact that I have... Uh, the cube of meat. Also, Guppy's hairball, I think, is actually doing a lot of work in this fight as well. Boom. Okay, what do we have in here? Guppy item, please. Oh my... I hate this game. This game is trash. Oh my god. At the very end, our tears do a little bit of damage. Um... This run is trash. I've got to survive until the chest and then pick up the items from the chest, hopefully. God, I hope I accidentally get a deal with the devil on this floor. Okay. God. There we go. That's what I needed. Just one of them to blow up. Hey, that guy was speedy as fuck, but it's over now. I'm very happy to see that. 
I'm also keeping an eye out for Tinted Rocks because getting something along the lines of the small rock could be very, very good for me. I also have a Pretty Fly and a uh, Cube of Meat, so I actually have orbitals that are worth having, so I've got a decent amount of orbitals. I'm just one very- I'm just a few good damage or tears items from having a very good run here. It's just a shame to be still so far from them. When I've been so far from them all game and I'm making other things work just so that I don't have to lose. So that this Maggie run doesn't have to go down like the rest of the Maggie runs have. Because I know if I lose again, I'm just going to random Maggie. Wait, did Maggie have to go to the dark room? Like, does this make no progress towards my thing? Hang on, let me check. I think Maggie actually had to go to the dark room, so... Yeah, Maggie has to go to the dark room, so going to the chest is actually not going to... This is not going to count as progress whatsoever. It, it'll just be something I've done before. Oh, great. A trinket that's horrible. I'll just switch back to the curved horn if you don't mind. That was very close. Gotcha. Again, I'm still focusing on trying not to take damage this floor, just so that I can possibly get a deal with the devil. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good work, Ryan. Absolute fucking idiot. I'm special. I am definitely special. In the diagnosable sense. God. For dance. I really don't like how it's so difficult to see creep on the floor here in the womb. I bet that you guys on YouTube, you guys, girls, you everyone on YouTube, uh, actually cannot see the creep on the floor. Betcha that's true. Okay, we've got the tedious ones out of the way. Gotcha. <sighs> Just survive to the chest, Ryan. This will fix your luck if you manage to persist so far that you succeed in a run that is this terrible, it will reset all of your luck stats. Just wanted a guppy item. Just on the first two floors, I had two guppy items, okay? All I need is the final guppy item and suddenly this run isn't so bad. Like, it's still pretty lackluster, let's be honest. But it wouldn't be as bad. I would have flight, I would have other things as well, I suppose. Playing that isn't even going to help me. It's going to get me money that I can't use. Alright, I'm going to blow these up. I'm looking for Blood Clot. Or Harlequin Baby. Nope. You can get items from the specifically fungal-ish heart things down here. Those rocks are the breakables, the skulls, or the <clears throat> mushrooms of this floor. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's how good this item is. It can carry me. It definitely can. Okay. I no longer wish to be in this room. Goodbye room. I have no interest in being there. Stop fucking teleporting me around, Curse in the Maze. 
There we go. If I win this run, I'm straight up just going to have to call it something like Stumped, right? In fact, even if I lose this run, I'm going to have to call it Stumped. Because otherwise, it would be a spoiler for me to say right now, if I win this run, I'm going to call it Stumped. Because then if you clicked on the name, you know, The Binding of Isaac, Stumped, you would know that I win. So I'm just going to call it Stumped no matter what. Because we use the Unicorn Stump and it's relatively effective. Unless, of course, I already have an episode named Stumped, in which case, I'll probably name it... Uh-oh. I did not want to pick up that half heart. Oh, hey, raw liver. That's a pretty rare item. I believe raw liver may have been the last item that Northern Lion got for real Platinum God. Like, he had to just farm out getting the raw liver. So I'm glad we've got that done, so now we don't have to ever worry about farming out the raw liver. Yep, that's not good. <laughs> or at least it's not as good as the curved horn. It just gives you a trink- uh, sorry, a familiar that does, you know, okay damage, I guess, but... It's not as good as extra two damage on myself. Joker. Right. Uh, I actually have to carry the Joker with me. Because next floor, the Joker can be used to access a deal with the devil. But this floor, if I use the Joker, I would just be able to bypass... Um, bypass going into the kind of end doors and instead just trip down to shield. Right? So I'd be able to bypass the mom's heart fight and go straight down to shield. That's all it would do for me. But, I do want to take the strength card with me so that I can use it against the mom. The mom. There can only be one. If this is reroll, I'll straight up reroll the shit out of my run. Okay, so that's reroll consumable floor items in this room. So I'm going to open this, and then anything I don't want, I'm just going to reroll. Um, none of that's particularly useful for me. I mean, maybe this is. Reroll the rest of it. Okay, pills are good. Bad gas, not good. I found pills, not good. Well, you continue to disappoint me, room. Uh, actually, the half heart is really good. Having a half heart interval just means that I'm going to have the Polaroid trigger before I die. That's good. It's why I'm going to be very wary not to pick up any half hearts from now on. Or if I do, I'm only going to do it half-heartedly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pause for laughter. Right, where are we going to find this fucking boss? I had to explain the uh, premise of this game to someone recently. They were just like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just chilling, playing some Binding of Isaac. Oh, cool, what's that game about? <sighs> you play as a baby whose mother was told by the voice of God to, uh, to kill him, and so you escape into the basement so you can fight dead babies, spiders, flies, until you can power yourself up to a certain point where you can kill your mother herself before crawling into her womb to kill her heart before her heart is replaced by a version of yourself in utero. After which you can fight either Satan or an angelic version of yourself and then there's two secret levels where you can fight either the satanic lamb of god or you can fight a version of yourself that has committed suicide due to your mother's religious ways. Yeah, that person stopped talking to me immediately after I said any of that, so that was really good. Okay, 
Okay, use a strength card. Now the rest of this is just on my tears. Yeah, it's just my goal to get that going on. The constant firing state. Because then it's really not that difficult if you have enough range. Okay. So now I leave. I go get my Joker card. Uh, I kind of want to take some damage if at all possible. So that I can pick up one of these half hearts. Okay, so the easiest way to take damage would be... Ba-boom! I don't need the sense there. Okay. Yeah. I could still save this run. I think I can still save this run. It's not going to be pretty, and it's not going to be fun, but I think I can still save this run. That's a, that's a poem by me. Okay. Here we go. Boom! What do we got? Fuck. Guppy. I need Guppy. There we go. That makes me Guppy. That's not good. That would be actively bad. In fact, I need the health at this point. Plus, I'm already Guppy, so there's no reason to take it. Okay. Having flight is significant, but being able to generate these spiders is actually going to supplement my damage so significantly that... It may just win the run on its own. This is now an okay run. I don't think by any means this is a powerful run. Um, I don't even think it's a reasonable run. I think that this is now a run that you can succeed, but shouldn't be looked down upon for you know, getting frustrated with and just not playing. I'm not going to do that though, because that's not the... A bean again? How many beans? How many beans did I... Wait, was it last run that I got the bean? Or was it this run that I got the bean? I got a bean at some point. And I've on it. I'll be honest. Never been as angry. As I was the moment I got that bean. Whoops. Accidentally picked up a half heart. That's unfortunate. Especially since I now have spirit hearts that are protecting my red hearts from being lost. Oh, well. Yeah. This is now not horrible damage, surprisingly. I'll take the Wheel of Fortune down to the next floor because an interesting thing happens when you blow a wall, uh, Wheel of Fortune up on the dark room or the chest. It becomes an item. Don't know why, but... Yep, that's a thing what happens. I am not going to explore the rest of this floor. I am not the world's bravest man. I'm not Marco Polo up in this motherfucker. I'm not saying that he was the world's bravest man, I'm just saying that he was an explorer. Okay. I'm gonna be attempting to get him down basically to the final stage. And it worked. Uh, purely through the use of the cube of meat. Yes! Cube of Meat is that good. By the way, if we had uh, BFF, the Cube of Meat would be doing twice as much damage. So it would have been able to kill Isaac in just those two uh, Unicorn Stomp Charges. Yeah. Cube of Meat is ridiculous. Okay. Now I just need to get carried by the items in this room. Are you ready? Ba-boom, boom, boom, bang. Fuck. That. That's another bean, by the way. So that's our third bean. Just want you to know. We've had this bean many times before. You know what? Fine. Ludovico technique. We will have one... I'm... Look at this aeroplane. I'm just flying around the room. By the way, it only gets bigger the further it is from my body. So, it's not the further it flies, it's just the further it is from my body. Okay. The reason I got this, by the way, is because it's going to be funny. It's just going to generate a number of flies. And that number of flies is going to be many. Plus, I think I have the health to sustain doing some stupid stuff right now. Look at the flies. Look at the flies. They're just on their way over. Like, oh, dutifully making their way over to the enemy. Mm. 
Easy. Yeah, I'm not taking fish head. I think I'm just going to end this run as soon as possible. I'm not certain I have the Huevos Rancheros to actually continue. Oh, freeze effect. That's good. That's actually really good. We may just freeze enemies and freeze them kind of to death. I'm liking it. I'm liking this run now. You know what? I'm officially happy with this run. You can hear me talking through my smile, can't you? You can hear the smile on my face. It's good. It's a good run now. It's at least interesting, which is good enough for me. Tears up. Yep, that's really good. Tears up with Ludovico technique, I believe, just increases the amount of times it hits per second. Excellent, we finally got the steam sail. I could full clear this floor. I don't even know if I've taken damage yet on this floor. <laughs> I love just sitting in the corner and then just flying around my little jet plane of death. Let that be a lesson to you. Sometimes you just have to embrace completely different playstyles in order to have fun with this game. Let that be a lesson to me, in fact, because I'm the one who didn't fucking realize that shit. Oh, give me Mr. Mega. Here we go. There we are. I just want to get as many items as possible. There we go. Poops everywhere. They're all locked in by the poops. They can't move because of the poops. They can only move to other non-pooped areas. I love it. Where's the petrified poop? I will find it. It's like I'm on a it's like a racing game. I'm like on a little mini racetrack with my little circle circle with my little jet plane. I'm just gonna loop back and forth. Whee! I'm having fun. I think this is fun. Is this not what fun is? I believe this is my this is just my rudimentary understanding of fun. Whee! God, I wish the donation machine was still on this floor. What do I mean still, like it was previously? I just wish there was a donation machine on this floor. Done. Boom. Told you an episode ago that I love my cards against humanity. Nope. Okay, if I killed, uh, if I killed her last, last, that is, I may have been able to pick up the virus. Just another item for fun. I'm unlikely to get less than three here, which is the heart, because I... I already have lard! More lard, all right. Whatever, let's lard it up, yo. All right, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna full clear. I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm taking my hands off the keyboard, by the way. Oh shit, no! My hands are still not on the keyboard! How can we ever win? And there we go. Oh, we didn't actually manage to make any progress. We did manage to roll the shittest character ever again. But we got to break our streak. It's a rule of threes, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta lose the first two so that you can win the third. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. The name of the character was Magdalene. Fuck Magdalene. But it worked out in the end, so I guess. Fuck Magdalene. Eyebrows raised. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It doesn't make my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my Binding of Isaac.